ever feel like, I don't know, maybe we worry too much about hurricanes here. Like, okay, big storm. But then you think about a place like the Bahamas and it's like, whoa. Yeah, talk about perspective, right? Seriously. For them, it's not just a storm. It's like, could the whole country even survive it? That's the reality. It really puts things into perspective, doesn't yeah. it? For island nations like that, climate change isn't some far off threat. It's happening right now. No kidding. But they're not just like sitting ducks, right? <laughs> We've been diving into this article, how the Bahamas is safeguarding against rising climate threats. Oh yeah, by tomorrow.io. Interesting stuff. Really interesting. So there's this organization, BACSWN, and let me tell you, it's not just some weather channel. Right, the Bahamas Aviation Climate and Severe Weather Network. They're not messing around. Okay, so what's the big deal with BACSWN? What are they doing that's so different? Well, they're taking forecasting to a whole new level, realizing that in the Bahamas, it's not just about do I need an umbrella, mm. it's life or death. So hyper-local information is key. Okay, so when we hear hurricane, we think, you know, big storm, but paint a picture for us. What are we really talking about here? Just imagine in the past 10, 15 years, they've been hit by multiple major hurricanes, like the kind that just wipe everything out. Each time they have to rebuild almost from scratch. Mm -hmm. But it's not just the hurricanes, right? This article highlights another terrifying threat, the ocean rising. It's like this slow motion disaster. It's like the ocean is slowly trying to swallow them whole. So how do you even begin to deal with a problem that big? Where do you even start? That's where this whole partnership with Tomorrow.io gets really interesting. Imagine getting a weather alert, not just for your city, but like for your street. Wait, hold on. Are you serious? They can predict things that specifically... That's hyper-local forecasting. And yeah, they can get that granular. Wow. So explain how that even works. Well, the Bahamas is an archipelago, right? Yeah. So you have all these different islands, and a storm can hit one really hard, while another one's practically untouched. Hyperlocal forecasting helps them understand exactly how these events will impact different areas. Exactly. And it's not just about having some fancy tech. It's about getting that information to everybody, right? Not everyone's walking around with the latest smartphone. That's what I thought was so cool. The article talked about how BACSWN is working with, like, everyone. Local news, government agencies, even the phone companies. Smart move, because you could have the most amazing weather data ever, but if it doesn't reach those folks in a vulnerable area, what's the point? Right. Like knowledge is power, but only if you have access to it. Absolutely. And that's where this Tomorrow.io partnership really shines. We were talking about hyper-local forecasting, but how does it actually work? Well, Tomorrow.io, they're leaders in this weather intelligence stuff. They use AI, radar data, you name it, to create these incredibly detailed forecasts. So we're talking next-level weather forecasting. But what does BACSWN actually do with all this information? Like, give me an example. Here's pressure this. A hurricane's on its way. Using Tomorrow.io's tech, BACSWN sees that a certain neighborhood maybe on one specific island, has a really high chance of flash floods. Okay, so they see it coming, then what? They send targeted alerts, like text messages, straight to those residents, giving them time to either get out or prepare their homes. Wow, that's amazing. It's not just, hey, a storm's coming, it's your street is in danger, here's what you need to do. Exactly. And because they teamed up with the local media and telecoms, they can spread the word through radio, TV, even those old school text messages for people without internet maximize that reach, save those lives. So it's really understanding the community's needs, not just throwing tech at the problem. 100%. And that takes us back to partnerships. BACSWN knew they couldn't do this alone. By working with Tomorrow.io and these local groups, they've created something way more powerful. Like they're weaving the safety net for the whole country, one hyper-local forecast at a time. It's easy to get caught up in all the tech talk, but at the end of the day, this is about people, right? 100%. It's about human resilience, facing these huge challenges head on. The article mentions this guy, Lyrone Burroughs, the head of BACSWN. He seems like a real driving force, so optimistic. Oh yeah, he totally has that can-do spirit. <laughs> like he's honest about the challenges, but you can tell he believes they can overcome anything with the right tools and the right people. And it sounds like they're not just trying to survive climate change. They're trying to thrive in spite of it. What kind of future are they building towards? That's what's so cool. They're not just reacting to threats. They're creating a future that's more resilient, sustainable, equitable, turning challenges into opportunities. So how does this apply to us? We're not in the Bahamas, but we're all facing these same threats. What can we learn from them? The big takeaway is that any community, no matter how big or small, 
can find ways to innovate and adapt. It's about recognizing your strengths, your resources, and then working together to build solutions. It's about coming together, right? Because climate change isn't something we can solve on our own. It's a global problem that needs a global solution. It really drives home the point that even with such massive challenges, there's always hope. It's about the choices we make, the connections we build, the actions we take. Every little bit matters. Well said. That wraps up our deep dive into the Bahamas and their fight against climate change. It's a story of resilience, innovation, and a vision for a brighter future. Absolutely. Hopefully it inspires everyone listening to think creatively, build partnerships, and make sure everyone has the chance to thrive no matter what the future holds. Thanks for joining us for another deep dive, everyone. Keep those brains buzzing and let us know what you think. Catch you next time.